Good morning and welcome back to Praying the Promises of the Cross and our Memory Dex card creation. So we are on day 26 and today's verse is 2 Corinthians 3.18. However, as I was reading it, you know how I like to kind of read the beginning of the paragraph. And the beginning of the paragraph starts with but. And like I've always said, you need to kind of read what's before that in order to understand the but part. So I think today we're going to read that entire section, which is called the glory of the new covenant. So let's go ahead and get started with that reading. Okay, the old way with laws etched in stone led to death. Though it began with such glory that the people of Israel could not bear to look at Moses' Moses's face. For his face shone with the glory of God, even though the brightness was already fading away. Shouldn't we expect far greater glory under the new way, now that the Holy Spirit is giving life? If the old way, which brings condemnation, was glorious, how much more glorious is the new way, which makes us right with God? In fact, that first glory was not glorious at all compared with the overwhelming glory of the new way. So if the old way, which has been replaced, was glorious, how much more glorious is the new which remains forever. Since this new way gives us such confidence, we can be very bold. We are not like Moses, who put a veil over his face so the people of Israel would not see the glory, even though it was destined to fade away. But the people's minds were hardened, and to this Day, whenever the Old Covenant is being read, the same veil covers their minds so they cannot understand the truth. And this veil can be removed only by believing in Christ. Yes, even today, when they read Moses' writings, their hearts <clears throat> are covered with that veil and they do not understand. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. So I, I wanted to just read that whole section because I want us to really, like I said, I've been reading the um, the Bible in a year and I've just been reading, you know, all the sacrifices and everything that had to happen back in Moses' time. And I I guess I just wanted to be reminded that we are so, so blessed to be living after the cross. I can't even imagine um, living before the cross. And so I think when I read these types of things and like the Bible that I'm reading in a year now, it just is such, it just brings so much gratitude, right? Because, because of what Jesus did for us. And so that's why I wanted to read that whole thing because I sometimes think we just take for granted um, what Christ did for us on the cross because we didn't have to live in those times. And, you know, I, I can't even imagine. So... I just wanted to read that, and so let's go ahead and pray, and then we'll see what I created. Oh, Heavenly Father, 
I can't even begin to express the gratitude that I have that you chose me to live in the new covenant. I struggle living in this new covenant and can't even imagine trying to live out my faith in the old covenant. Now that you have chosen me to be your child, I no longer have a veil covering the truth about you. And I now have your spirit living within me. With your spirit, you are working in me. You are working in me to be more and more like you. The more closely that I follow you, the more I will become the person that reflects your glory. I pray, Lord, that my love to follow you closely only continues to grow. Because I want to look more like you and not like the darkness of this world. So, Lord, just help me to keep my eyes focused on you. I pray all these things in your name. Amen. Before we move on to see what I created, I wanted to read this devotion that I found on March 10th that I think really um, goes in line with, with what I read today and what and mostly with the card that I created. So let me read it. So I have this, let's see, what is it called? I have this devotion, it's called A Moment to Breathe. And I got this through Mary and Martha because I also am an, an ambassador for them. So I sell their products as well because I love having scripture all over my house. And the thing that I love about Mary and Martha is they have you know, their dishes has scripture on them. Everything pretty much has scripture on them. So I have a lot of that in my home. So this was for March 10th and I just love it. And it says, when I fail to seek God's direction, the outcome is like a stone dropped in a puddle with an ever widening ring of consequences. When we're tempted to take action without consulting God, we're wise to remember that our wits, though sharp, and our hearts, though set to follow after Christ, can be fooled. This is why being grounded in God's word is so vital. Better than any earthly compass, God's word guides us and leads us in the way of God's wisdom and grace. So now when we look at the card, you'll see why I think that this really was in line with my card for today. So let me pull in some of the products that I used to create today's card. And then we'll talk about them as I show you my card. Okay, so here it is. And I was wanting to focus on following him closely and having my eyes on him closely. So I decided that I wanted to do a lighthouse because when you're out on the stormy seas like this picture shows and this is a printable by the way the paper I I know that we have to continually keep our eyes focused on Jesus and so I wanted to represent him as my guiding light in a in a lighthouse and so I added some, um, I use this, let's see, this everyday details dye right here to do the white in the background there. But I wanted it to have, and you really probably can't tell in the photo, but I really wanted it to be bumpy like waves and stuff. And so I pulled in this um, old world paper 
3D embossing folder and I embossed that circle and then I die cut the um, I die cut this image from where was it I think it was yeah it was in this set right here the um, sailing home and I die cut that and then I stamp my lighthouse with the high tide set and there's no dies for that so I had to go ahead and fussy cut that out and let's see and then I wanted um, you know I had to figure out the two colors so I, I wanted to use the two colors that I thought pretty much matched that paper which was Azure Afternoon and Poppy Parade. So that's what I did for my lighthouse. And then on, on the You Are My True North, I used, let's see, I used this die, which is in this gift card envelope and trims thinlet dies. And I used the sentiment from Sailing home, you are my true north, because Jesus is my true north. There is no other truth in this world, so we need to keep our eyes on him. So, then I did some sponging around that before I put it down there, and I popped up the sentiment and the lighthouse. And then on the back side, I used some more printable paper, um on the back and then I wanted to kind of do that same circle on the front but I wanted it to be different so I ended up die cutting it out but then I used the um, stylish shapes to die cut inside so that it would kind of be separate you know just that I just needed that part and then I punched out this white on I think it was two and a quarter inch punch which, let's see if I have that here. I have it for another project. So it's this two and a quarter inch punch that I used for that it's where I could write my scripture on there. And then I popped that up. So I just, I love this paper. And you know, I think I'm coming to realize because one of the other cards that I did a while ago, I like the turquoise and red together. It's just so pretty. So. Maybe that's what it is that I'm really drawn toward those two colors. Okay, and then I just did my scripture writing in my um, Poppy Parade marker, and then I had this pen to, to write my script, the verse that I was using, and it's from the NLT version that I read from. Okay, well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the card today and the video. And hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And until tomorrow, remember, choose joy. And may God bless you all. Bye-bye.